so suspense is sadness with a twist, right? It's just a little bit more. But then it's like, be careful, because if you do a little bit too much of that, then it's going to sound like horror. So, for example, let's start with neutral. There's nothing, right? So... Ah, so there's nothing. This is basically neutral. It will support the moment we start adding more things when we are going to start going in one direction or another direction. For example, if here I would do something like this. The sending scale, that's a little bit of that sadness. Now, if we change these intervals and we make them a little bit more dissonant, right, let's go with violas. Now, viola is going to be a little bit darker. So a little bit more of suspense there. What have we done? Well, we've got this note, we've got the tritone here, we've got the semitone here, right? Da -da -da. And just this gesture is more suspenseful. So that's a little bit more suspense. Let's keep that there. Now, if we added something like... What this is, is just a cluster. And what is a cluster? It's a bunch of semitones. So this is not high intensity horror, but it creates a little bit more than just suspense. So we don't want to go there. That's what I showed this. If we continue on this, let's darken it a little bit more and let's make it horror. Let's go to this B flat note here, just with the strings, all right? Let's go cello. Right, and then double basses. Let's bring a little bit of the timpani roll. If we had like a water phone or something, this would add a little bit of eeriness and things like this. Extreme range. We can go farther. We can definitely darken this way more. Let's compensate left, right, because it's a little bit heavy on the high range in the left side. So we're going to compensate with the right side. So arp, center, left, right. So this is the regular arp. This press de la table. First, the tablet is just closer to the wood. Not such of a pleasant sound. So in terms of range, lower sometimes creates a little bit more of darkness. In terms of orchestration, there are specific techniques, right? Those tremolandos, sul ponticellos. So there are things that are going to sound a little bit more eerie and less pleasant. You know, sometimes if done it correctly, for example, trombones with mutes as well. Careful, because sometimes this can sound too cliche and bring you back to like 90s or 80s, like in terms of like scoring. You know, for these two words, the trombones, they need a little bit of support, low brass, something like this. There you go. In terms of like playing technique, that will also affect how it sounds, you know, dark, like lighter or darker. In terms of orchestration as well, how you arrange in terms of intervals and harmony. There are intervals that sound a little bit more open and brighter. Some intervals that sound darker. The darker you go, you know, the more negative emotions. And there's a range of that. There's sadness, there's suspense. Within that range, you can have suspense. You can have more intensity with mid intensity, things like this. You can go horror. So all these things. And that's it. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Most of our videos are actually a cut from classes that we do on momentum. What's momentum? Momentum. <laughs> For those who don't know me, my name is Mark Giovanni. I'm a composer. I've done movies that have gone to Netflix, Amazon Prime, Lifetime, Hallmark Channel. I'm also the founder of Cinematic Composer Music School for Film Composers. We've got a program that's called Momentum for just 20 composers like you. If you want to work directly with me and with other mentors and composers like Spider-Man composer Christopher Young or Oscar-nominated composer Javier Navarrete and other composers like we've got more than 12 coaches. Schedule a call with me. Let's talk. We just take 20 composers. Other than that, thanks for watching. Watching the video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.